Hello and welcome to this video. I'm going to be talking about a very powerful method that I use and it's I don't know how to actually describe it. It's called CV leads and what you want to do is every CV has some sort of value. Um, a lot of candidates you may disregard or you may actually think oh they're not suitable for my role but I'm going to show you how to use every single CV and monetize every single CV. It will help you map out the market and it will help you find clients that are actually looking for people. Now, it may be the case that the employer is going to be looking in a few weeks or months, or it could be that they're actually looking now and you can't, you haven't actually come across their adverts. So in this video, I'm going to just talk about what I would do in a situation once a CV comes across my inbox and I can take it from there. So what I want to do is I'm just using a sort of example CV that I've come across and um, taking out all the details that are relevant as well. So what I would do is I would look at the last position. So this company, ICIS, is obviously looking for someone. Now it's November and September was a while back. So that company is actually probably looking or has looked for an account executive. And how this is really powerful, if a com if a candidate is actually looking at this time, chances are they're going to find a job in about, you know, two weeks to a month. And this person might actually be serving their notice period. So the employer is actually conducting interviews at that time. So it gives you a great indication of the market. And if you're, you know, this person's applied for something that you're recruiting for, chances are that you've got candidates already for that particular role and in that area. So it's about moving candidates about. Now, a lot of recruiters would actually call this candidate and interview them. And it works great if it's a contract or temporary position because you know that company uses contractors um, for their particular roles. So if the person says in their CV, if it says, for example, contract role, oh, I can't even spell contract role or temp you know from looking at a CV whether it's a temp or contract position and if you interview the candidate you would find out why you don't have to be sleazy with it a lot of ca you know how can I put it a lot of recruitment consultants will call up every candidate and just try to fish for information and say something along the lines of oh you know is John the manager there and the candidate will say no it's it's Sarah you know Sarah Smith um, so then you've got a name and then you obviously call the company up and um, a lot of companies actually put fake adverts out for contract roles so if you've ever applied for a contract position or a temporary role chances are that the job didn't exist so they only use it to fish for employers <coughs> and sort of get into the the market from there so once again this is a powerful method that can be done very well um, chances are if you help this candidate out they're more likely to give you that answer give value to the candidate and they'll be more likely to help you. You may even know that they've got a personal relationship. I mean, how many people have personal relationships with their boss? Um, you know, a lot of people get friendly, especially if they've been there for a few years or they keep in touch as well. So they can give you um, an inside knowledge as well as refer you on. If you give a good level of service, no one is going to refer you for no reason. So once again, you can simply Google these companies and see if they're looking for um, a quality assurance manager or if they're looking or that person, the candidate come to you and they're going to be looking, you know that person is going to leave a vacancy behind. So you need to get in touch and build that relationship with the actual employer. Do it through an email, do it through a call. If you want to sort of email process over the next two weeks, suddenly the employer is like, we don't have a need at the moment. But in the future, we're going to need it. We're going to need someone. And you could say, don't mention, obviously, a name like someone's applied and they're looking for a job. Don't ever do that because it's very unprofessional. But, you know, you can shortlist 30 companies in your area very locally or local to a position you're recruiting for that are using contractors that use other agencies. And you can obviously prompt them and you know exactly what the timing is going to be around because this person is an account executive um, as you can see here and you know an account executive I believe is like a sales position most of the time so it's yeah 200 existing candidates I mean clients so you know for a fact that that employer will need to fill that position because they're losing revenue so if you have someone that you can approach the, the employer with as well I mean, uh, there's been instances where I've swapped 
candidates before between two two clients so one has gone for an interview that's leaving that position and another one has gone for you know the second employer and I've moved them across so they've kind of swapped candidates and it actually worked out really well I couldn't believe it actually worked and they both were hired so I've actually onboarded two clients through that method and I actually successfully helped two candidates find a job so just wanted to obviously touch on that subject I know it's a powerful method and not all companies will advertise on read or indeed so sometimes they're harder to find especially contract positions they they literally just go through employment agencies and um, because they haven't got the time to sort of recruit or they just want someone in for three four months um, but be very careful with it don't put candidates off a lot of candidates have knowledge on this technique and bad recruiters will just simply say oh who's the boss there um, you know so or they'll try and say oh we need a reference so they can get a detailed um, they can get their phone number they can get their email address candidates are very clued up and they're going to be put off by that as well and they'll probably write a bad review about you um, so yeah I would definitely definitely look at every CV as having value